this diagnosis might help you. You could claim that this condition made the baby more vulnerable to accidental suffocation, or even sudden infant. But it might hurt you. How? Prosecution will suggest that she knew the baby had problems. Problems she was ill-equipped to handle, and from there they'll make the leap that she was practicing some form of eugenics. Oh, yeah, now wait a minute. How was she supposed to see this condition when a qualified practitioner couldn't even well, see it? Well, she from? might have known something was amiss. She's raised a girl. She knows what a healthy baby is like. David was not putting on weight. He was not sucking. Okay, so you think that she... You have to be able to entertain all possibilities. Mm. Mothers do all kinds of things that people don't want to think about. We practice triage. Triage? Yeah. A woman has a pile of chips. Let's say her chips are her money, her time, and any other resources she can squirrel away. She looks at her chips, and she decides not only which child needs them, but which child is most likely to return her investment. Oh, uh, that's cold. That's cold. Nature is cold. You put woman, you put women in a room by themselves, and they will tell you, if they're honest, that there were moments when they looked at their newborns with coldness. Mm. I remember looking at my newborn as if he were a mutant or something. I was young, scared. New to this country, my, my family far away. And it got even worse when the others came because then I had to make all the decisions about who was going to get what. Mm. Can't you see this in your own family? No, not particularly. Mm. How many of your siblings went to college? Just me. <clears throat> Why is that? Why, with five kids brought up in the same environment, were you the only one to get a degree? Were the others incapable? No. And why? I don't know. You don't think your mother made a few decisions about who she was going to push for? Okay, look, look, my, 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 my. I know where this conversation is going and I don't like it, okay? All right, I got to defend this woman. This is my job. But I'm not going to subscribe to this Darwinian bullshit. I mean, I can't make a defense on that, okay? Look, this is not the Stone Age. Women don't have the right to choose which one of her kids is going to survive. Of course and not. And my mama broke her back Excuse to make sure all me, her kids just I had the life. As a matter of fact, you know what? She had it just as worse as this young woman did, if not worse, okay? Okay, just trust me. Damn. You are angry at her. Who, my mom? No. Evelyn. Oh, Come on now, just give me some credit here, please, please. You think she didn't love that baby? You know what, I'm beginning to consider that, because you know what, anybody would. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Let's go there. All right. Say she didn't love this baby. Mm -hmm. Suppose that with all the things she was up against, the love she was supposed to feel for this child just wasn't there. At least, not in any consistent way. So wait, I, you're excusing her, okay? But... Mother love is not some hard commodity. It's fragile. No one wants to believe that and admit that. Oh, God. People are so goddamn benighted. And you are just about the worst. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to go to trauma. What? Ugh. I don't think uh, they have enough for murder one. I want to negotiate a plea. You know, they'll come back with something. I'll, I'll give her something good. I'm lost. Look, I don't want to put that woman on the stand. She's a dead bang loser, a lying drunk, you know, who tends to like a two year old. And the way it fucking ticks. And the racism. Oh my God. She's not even stupid. I mean, she's not even smart enough to hide that from the suck of color. That would be me. That's trying to get her off. Come on, Ma. You really want to put me through that? And you know the Drew Poole we're going to get. They're going to hate her. So let's change, move for a change of venue. No, 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 we can't move for a change of venue because the way this thing's being covered, we would have alienated the community even more. God forbid you should stand apart from your community. You know, you know, you know, I am very loyal to my community. That's why my, I stand right here because of them. You could win this case. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously. 
All right, it's a little tricky. <laughs> but you've argued worse. What have they got? A busybody who said she drinks. Mm -hmm. An 80-year-old male psychologist who doesn't like the fact that she didn't cry mm -hmm. when she reported her child missing. There are no substantial witnesses. <laughs> there is no clear cause of death established. I don't get it. Uh, you know what? Forget it, Maya. Just put my ass on the chopping block. That's, that's fine. That's fine. God damn it. That's it. Let me take the case. You know what? Maybe I should. Well, I don't want to. I'm already swamped. And I know that you would have more credibility with this jury. Vincent, are you getting ready to leave this office? What? It's been about five years since you started. So? So that's when most public defenders jump to the private sector. And you're beginning to look like someone who's getting ready to jump. I... You know what? I serve my time, okay? People do other things. You know, they get hobbies, they buy homes, they get memberships in country clubs. Uh, Stop bullshitting me, Vincent. You know this office needs you. I'm not going to be here forever. This is a poor county. These people need someone who's going to help them tell their stories. I don't want some young kid who's clocking up a few years just to rack up trial time and connections. You know what? I may not be the one. So maybe you will leave me. It's happened before. I'll go on. I'm a lifer. But don't think that you are going to ease your way into the private sector with some half-assed plea bargain. Not on my watch. No way. Something about this case, something about this woman is getting under your skin. But I won't let you run from that and go for a plea. Mm. Your mother did not bring you into this world to plead. You know what? Sometimes it is just so easy to hate you, woman. You know what I mean? God, and don't they believe in screen windows and Section 8 housing? God damn. Vincent. Oh. Vincent. Mm. Plunge into the heart of your discomfort, and in the mess of that memory and judgment and connections, you will find your defense. Mm. God, <laughs> who do you think I am? I think you can defend this woman. Trust yourself, Vincent. Use yourself. Use your history. It will bring you to this young woman. It will bring you into her darkness. Well, what if I don't want to go there, Maya? Fine. You're like, join the country club. They're taking people of color now. Ah, you know what? You know what? Get that goddamn it in hell. There's flies all over this place. Just stop, okay? I'll take another shot with you. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. But no more plea bargain nonsense here. <laughs> people are paying attention to this. Take some time in this room. There's something you're not noticing. There is a void here. What? What? My dear man, you are looking into the heart of this young woman's predicament. Where's the crib? There is no crib for the baby. There is no crib. There is no cradle. There is no bassinet. There is a story, Vincent. Write it. <laughs> 